you can make an analogy to cancer. When someone's sick and the cancer is spreading, sometimes you need to amputate in order to stop the spread. And that's um, sort of what we're doing here. They're marked with pink flag. And we go in there, commence falling and burning to kill the infected trees and to stop the spread of the mountain pine beetle. Every tree that we cut down, uh, those pine beetles that are in that tree have the ability to in infest another seven to ten trees. For every infested tree that we're cutting down, we are protecting those trees. When pine beetles begin attacking a tree, they start emitting pheromones, which call other beetles to join in the attack. The larvae begin feeding in that phloem area. So essentially, the trees die of thirst. Yeah, it's a very quick process. If there were no control at all being done here, beetle populations would continue to grow across the boreal forest and, and head into eastern Canada. If you look out here, it's devastating. You're just cutting down the trees and burning them. It seems like a waste. But if we want to protect this, this resource, then this needs to be done. We are doing a lot of good work, then those numbers are, are dropping, but the fight is not over.